Okay, now social media can also be used to commit real world crime. So for example, uh, social networking sites provide a lot of information about our daily routines, as well as when we're likely to be away from our premises for long periods of time. People may post information about holidays or use mobile phone applications that tag them at various locations such as Foursquare. This information can be used for property crimes um, like burglary. Um, now also we have seen social media used for um, personal crimes. For example, uh, last year an 18-year-old Sydney girl was murdered after meeting somebody that she had befriended on Facebook. Um, the alleged killer had set up a fake profile and enticed the victim to meet him for the purposes of working for an animal welfare organisation. And similar cases have reportedly resulted in rapes and assaults. Now social media does present police, policy makers and regulators with a number of challenges. Now I can't actually provide you with the answers to um, these challenges and it's something that you might want to think about yourself. So these challenges include the ethics of using social media to gather evidence, privacy settings, regulation and cross-jurisdictional issues. In relation to gathering evidence, police require warrants to, li to listen to telephone communications or to enter premises. However, how does this apply to accessing other social media sites and what are the ethical issues in relation to this? There's a number of challenges relating to privacy. So, for example, the recommended privacy settings of Facebook um, are available up here. Uh, this include allowing everyone using the social media site to access your status, photos, posts, family and relationship details, as well as your biography. Friends of friends are also able to access photos and videos in which you feature and date of birth. And there are concerns that these default privacy, privacy settings are not adequate. So do you even know who um, friends of friends are and you know, do you really want them knowing what your date of birth is? Um, so hopefully everyone has checked their default settings. Other challenges associated with social media include their unregulated nature. When data is stored overseas, there is a diminished ability to control the way in which it is captured, stored and handled. Jurisdictional issues include access to data, what behaviours are deemed to be criminal where, and cooperation with other law enforcement agencies. Okay, so in conclusion, social media does offer many benefits. Um, it allows you to connect with your friends and family. However, it can also be used for nefarious purposes, including personal and property crimes. And it comes with challenges for governments and law enforcement, um, which you know, do require some thinking in order to address those challenges.